Tonight's event was phenomenal. Our kids were so excited to open the doors uh, to their new school. Our parents, our very involved parents, are excited to see the renovations, the new things that uh, the school can offer to this community. They're excited about the state-of-the-art uh, 21st century learning environment. The turnout was probably one of our largest turnouts for some of our ribbon cutting ceremonies. We saw many people from the community, not only the people that actually have students attending our school, so uh, it was a wonderful turnout. It's great to be back. Good evening. Welcome to Stewart Alternative Elementary School. My name is Ayana. My name is and we're going to be talking about our new school. I'm going to be talking about my experiences here at Stella Alternative Elementary School. When I went here in kindergarten, it was so much different. There weren't two playgrounds and the library was the lunchroom. And now that I'm here, I'm amazed. My favorite part of the building is the gym because I like to play basketball. Also, when I'm independent reading, I like the comfortable furniture. My teacher, Ms. Stonerock, works very hard to teach your class as well as all the other teachers. Our st steward star should be safe, trustworthy, always respectful, and responsible. Now welcome to the stage, our principal, Ebony Johnson. Good evening. Thank you very much, Latrice and Ayana. Welcome to our newly renovated space. We are so happy to call this place our home. Being principal at Stewart is such an honor because this school has such a rich tradition. This would not be possible without the work of all of our former staff members. If we have any former staff members that worked at Stewart, could you please stand? See Ms. Morrison, let's give them a hand. As you look around today, you will see a state-of-the-art 21st century learning environment. You will also see hallways filled with evidence of high levels of student learning. All of this would not be possible without the hard work, dedication, and commitment from the hardest working staff in Columbus. Could the current Stewart staff please stand? for a better group of individuals to go through this move with. So thank you all so much for all of your hard work. To prepare our building for students to arrive in January, we had lots to do in a short amount of time. We had an extraordinary group of volunteers who assisted us with everything from packing materials, moving boxes, and setting up our new space. If you volunteered with us, could you please stand to be recognized? They were awesome. If you look to my right, you will see a beautiful mural that our art teacher, Mrs. Simonis, worked on with all of our students. The caption reads, we are Stuart, help us grow. As we move forward with continuing the tradition of excellence that has begun, we need the help of our families, our friends, and community members. You will find pledge cards inside of your programs. We're asking each person to think about partnering with us so we can continue to raise student achievement and become one of the top rated schools in the district. If you feel led to join us, please complete the card and turn it into Miss Mounts in the library before you leave today. I hope you enjoy our program as well as the tour throughout the building. You will notice throughout the program that we are showcasing students from South High School. Please remember that Stewart is now a K-6 school that is part of the South 712 feeder. For our sixth grade parents, we are pleased to have Mr. Ed Baker, principal of South High School present. He's in the back, wave Mr. Baker. If you would like to know more about the program that they are working on at South High School, make sure you stop and speak to Mr. Baker. We will now have the South High School Junior ROTC Color Guard complete the presentation of colors.
We will now say the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which he stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. told me that he went to Stewart in 1949. This was his first school that he went to when he um, came to America. So that's really awesome that they were able to come and sing for us. Now we are bringing Mrs. Conway, our music teacher, and our Stewart choir to sing a selection.
Ah, thank you, Mrs. Conway and the Stewart Choir. That was a very nice selection. Okay, so before I bring up our student to introduce um, our superintendent, I acknowledged our former staff and our current staff, and I forgot a very important group of people. Could our parents please stand? None of this would be possible without them. We have the best parents. Thank you so much. I must tell you, I think everyone that has been visiting um, from the district has given me so many compliments on our students. And that is a true testament to the hard work that you all as parents do. I say I have the best students in Columbus and the absolute best parents. So thank you for being so supportive and thank you for giving us the best kids ever. And so speaking of our best, I would like to call to the stage the Laviance Burt Sims. Welcome, thank you all for coming out tonight to Stewart Elementary. Um, welcome to the renovated Stewart Alternative Elementary. After five years, we are glad to be back. We are now going to give our biggest applause for our S Columbus City School Superintendent, Dr. Dan Good. <laughs> Thank you, Delaviance, and thank you, Principal Johnson. It is a delight to see such a wonderful group of students, parents, community members, and stakeholders joining us this evening. I believe I saw Representative Mike Stenziano enter the room. Mr. St uh, Representative Stenziano, did you give away? Thank you for being here this evening. And I believe the gentleman from Manicor that went to school here back in 1948 has gone, but Russ Arledge is here in the audience, and he started school here 60 years ago in kindergarten. You want to stand? <laughs> In fact, when we came in together this evening, he said, you know what, I still live in the same house and I walk the same path that I walked to kindergarten that morning, so it's nice to have you home. Nice to have you. I also want to recognize the students from South High School as well as Stewart Alternative who assisted us in honoring our flag this evening, and it's a privilege certainly to have been treated with the wonderful voices of the Manicor Choir. We appreciate your talents as well as your partnership and your support as a valued neighbor of the school. One more time, a round of applause for all of those. And now it is my pleasure to introduce the president of the Columbus City Schools Board of Education, Mr. Gary L. Baker II. Mr. Baker. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, everyone has made us feel incredibly welcome here tonight. And the building obviously is beautiful and the staff are amazing. And, and I've never been outdressed by so many third graders in my life. <laughs> But back to the script. Uh, along with students, parents, and staff members, the Columbus City Schools Board of Education members, past and present, have dedicated considerable time and effort toward the successes of Columbus City Schools. I would like to recognize those who are here with us tonight, as well as those who were not able to be here due to other engagements. Uh, Vice President Brian Stewart, please stand. Board member Michael Cole, please stand, be recognized. Board member Shauna Gibbs, please stand. W. Shauna Gibbs, yes ma'am. Uh, Mary Jo Hudson and Dominic Peretti are not able to be here with us this evening, but we do have Ramona Reyes. Thank you. Uh, this year when school started, the students and staff from Stewart were making the best of their educational experience in classrooms at the former Beck Elementary School, which has served as swing space for the district. Stewart was relocated to that building in August 2010 after a fire on July 30th severely damaged the first and second floors of the school. The renovation that we witness today is a result of a collective desire to do more than just repair the damaged portion of the building. Talent, hard work, and expert workmanship has transformed this site into a state-of-the-art technological learning space that complements the ongoing growth and development of one of Columbus's premier historic neighborhoods. Did you know that Stewart Alternative Elementary School is the oldest school building still in operation? Still in operation in Columbus City Schools and is also on the National Register of Historic Buildings. 
Just think, the original school opened its doors back in 1874, and through careful preservation efforts and a vision to bring the building into the 21st century, here we stand today. And speaking of standing here today, I'll call back up the superintendent. Um, he was in kindergarten that first year in 1874. <laughs> well, in just a few minutes, we will have a ribbon cutting ceremony. And you may also tour then the renovated building that features these many great amenities that Mr. Baker has shared. Let me take just a few moments to point out some of those things you may want to know. This school is a completely renovated building with a 16,000 square foot addition. You're sitting in part of that now. The building is designed to accommodate 350 students on three floors and encloses 45,000 square feet. It includes two kindergarten classrooms, 14 regular classrooms, including a classroom for special needs students. It also has a computer lab, a separate art room, and a separate music room. And you certainly need to check out the media space. It is absolutely wonderful. All of our classrooms are updated with the latest audiovisual and technology systems for state-of-the-art facilities and capabilities, including interactive smart boards. We also have a media center, which I mentioned, a separate cafeteria, gymnasium space. The building is fully air conditioned, but also has operable windows to let in fresh air. Our student and staff safety is always a priority, so Stewart has a full security system, unlike any other, that includes cameras, exterior lighting, and access control at every entry. And the building is designed to be environmentally sustainable and energy efficient. It is a LEED certificated building, certificate of building. Additionally, the district acquired more than two acres of land to the west of the school, providing on-site parking, new playgrounds, and additional green space. And with your continued support, we hope to continue to provide new or newly renovated buildings for all of the children across this wonderful district. And now I have the pleasure of recognizing some of our community partners. Stewart Alternative Elementary is a showcase of the collective commitment and passion for impactful change for the German Village area and for Columbus City Schools. In particular, I want to thank the Ohio School Facilities Commission who provides invaluable guidance on our school construction program and as well as 30% in State of Ohio matching funds to help us provide new and renovated schools for our students. And if Rhonda Hagemeyer is here, please wave so that we can offer you our personal thanks. I don't see her. All right. One of the keys to a successful construction program is having the right people on board from our in-house staff to the construction management team, architects and engineers. We definitely had the right team in place for this project. Please stand as I recognize each of the following individuals or organizations and hold your applause to the end. There are quite a few. So from Columbus City Schools, Capital Improvements, Alex Trevino, Ron Minekami, uh, and Dorian Lanzati, just stand and, and please stay standing if you're here. Construction Manager, Smoot Elfert Resource Management, and if you're already standing, maybe just put your hand up. Architect, Hard Lines Design Company. General Contractor, Miles McClellan Construction Company. Interior Design, Williams Interior Design Incorporated. Civil Engineer, Cabo Associates. Structural Engineer, Corda Nemeth Engineering. Landscape, Kinzelman Klein Gossman. Historical Consultant, Schooley Caldwell. Preservation Planner, Robert Loversidge. Demolition, Superior Enterprises Unlimited. We do truly appreciate the work of everyone who has been instrumental in making this dream become reality. We offer our sincere thanks for the high quality work you and your colleagues have provided. Let's give them a round of applause. So before we invite you to take a tour of the school and enjoy some light refreshments, we still need to cut that dedication ribbon. So we're going to ask Principal Johnson, as well as her staff, as well as our students, to join me and the Board of Education as we make this all very official. As they come forward, go ahead and come forward. That's your cue. <laughs> Let me say thank you again to the Columbus community for the support of our district and our students. Do not forget that we are having a reception in the cafeteria where you will be entertained by the South 712 School Jazz Ensemble, and you're welcome then to tour the building as well. 